Hi and welcome back to my channel. I made this video because I know many of us are dying to travel abroad to sunnier climates when this lockdown ends and I wanted to give you another option of where to visit and why. So this video is all about 10 reasons why you should visit Ireland. So the first reason applies purely to Irish people or anybody residing in Ireland. I'm suggesting that we stay in Ireland or visit Ireland because every economy has basically been crippled due to COVID-19. So I just feel like we should put our own money back in our own economy and help it get back on its feet. We have some of the most magnificent breathtaking landscapes in the entire world. You can do the Wild Atlantic Way, which is a tourism trail that goes all along the West Coast. And when you do this, you'll see never ending rolling hills, jagged cliff edges and stunning coastlines. We also have Cliffs of Moher, Giant's Causeway, and if you fancy tackling your fear of heights, the Carrick Aredi Rope Bridge. Ireland's quickly becoming a popular surfing destination with waves to suit all levels from beginners to professionals. So you've got Castle Gregory Beach in Kerry, which is perfect for those that are new to the world of surfing, or you've got Mullamore in County Sligo, which features swells as tall as nine meters high. Look, I know Ireland isn't a foodie's paradise, but we do have some of the best produce out there. And no, I am not talking about a chicken fillet roll, pack potato, and a club orange to soothe your hangover from hell. I am talking about Ireland's fresh seafood, from oysters to good old fish and chips. We're also famous for our Connemara lamb, born and bred in the west of Ireland. But if you are not a meat eater, Ireland has a growing vegan scene, from the likes of the happy pear, Yo dudes! which have a fully sustainable vegan menu from their five-star cafe in Greystones in Wicklow. Let's face it, us Irish love a drink and we will find any excuse to have one. We are home of Bushmills, Jameson, Harp and our most famous export, Guinness. You can head to the Guinness storehouse in Dublin, learn to pull yourself a pint of the black stuff while taking in 360 views of the Dublin skyline from their gravity bar. <laughs> Music is a huge part of our culture. It's in our bones. We've produced many famous artists such as Dermot Kennedy, U2, The Cranberries, and even Westlife. We've won an Oscar for best original song, Falling Slowly from the movie Once. And the Oscar goes to Glenn Hansard and Arquette Glover for Falling Slowly from Once. And if you fancy some traditional Irish music, head to Temple Bar in Dublin. Look, it's touristy, but it's touristy for a reason. It draws in a crowd because everybody is in great form. Everyone's having the crack, having a drink, clapping along, tapping their feet to the live music. So why not join them? Instagram now plays a pivotal role in how and where we travel, and Ireland is no different. It has become an Insta hotspot. We have waterfalls in Killarney that could compete with the likes of Bali. Trinity has a library that looks like a scene from Hogwarts. The stairway to heaven in Fermanagh lives up to its name. You can take a dingle dolphin tour and take a snap of the most beautiful intelligent creatures in their own habitat. And lastly, the dark hedges. It has become the most photographed spot in Northern Ireland since it was featured on the Game of Thrones, which leads me to my next point. <laughs> For any of you Game of Thrones fans out there, this one is for you. These tours are a must. So you will get dressed in leather cloaks and handed swords and you will wander through forests and crumbling ruins. You could also take a direwolf tour with summer and grey wind and walk through forests and abbeys, castles and more. Some of our UNESCO World Heritage Sites include Skellig Michael, which is a remote rugged island just off the west coast of Ireland and was used as a filming location for Star Wars, The Last Jedi and The Force Awakens and has since seen a huge rise in visitors. We've got Newgrange, which is a passage tomb famous for its winter solstice illumination, which lights up its passage and chamber. It is older than Stonehenge and also older than the Egyptian pyramids. And we've got Giant's Causeway, which is approximately 40,000 interlocking basalt columns as a result of an ancient volcanic eruption. You can also walk these stones for free. Last but not least, the people. All you have to do is Google Irish fans Euros 2016 to see what we're like as a nation. We're 
were warm, witty, charming people, just up for the crack and having a drink. Dublin was voted not once, but twice, friendliest city in Europe, while Dublin and Cork have previously been voted friendliest cities in the world, from the travel company Big Seven Travel. <laughs> So there you have it, 10 reasons why you should visit our gorgeous green Emerald Isle on your next trip. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Grace, oh grace.